Uh, welcome to today's webinar on international trade and the resources that are available for businesses looking to expand into the global marketplace. This webinar is being hosted by the Office of Small Business Advocate, which is a unit under GOBIS, the Governor's Office of Business and Economic Development. My name is Megan Hodap, and I'm a Small Business Program Analyst with the Office of Small Business Advocate. Today's webinar features Diana Dominguez, who is a Special Advisor for International Trade with GOBIS's International Affairs and Business Development Unit. Diana assists businesses that are interested in tapping into the global marketplace and is our subject matter expert on all things international, including resources available for businesses for export-related services. Before I turn the webinar over to Diana to get started, I would like to introduce to you some of the features of GoToWebinar, which is the platform that we're using today. At the far right of your screen, you should see a vertical toolbar. This toolbar will provide you with access to audio and visual for the presentation. If you experience any technical audio issues, please click Help at the top of the toolbar and then select Sound Check. This will allow you to check your audio configuration. Participant lines will remain muted during the entire presentation. If you have a question during the webinar, please submit it during the presentation via the Questions chat box. The Questions chat box is located in the middle of the toolbar. GoBiz staff will respond to questions during the Q&A section at the end of the presentation. At the top left of the toolbar, you'll see two icons. The blue icon with a white box allows you to view the presentation in full screen mode. The blue icon with a picture of a hand allows you to raise your hand to ask questions during the webinar. This feature will not be used since questions will be addressed at the end of the webinar via the questions chat box. I will now turn the webinar over to Diana to go ahead and begin her presentation. Welcome, Diana, and thank you for being here. Thank you, Megan. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us in today's webinar to learn more about export promotion resources available in the state. With that, I'd like to jump into a quick introduction about GoBiz and how we assist businesses with their business development needs. Um, so the Governor's Office of Business and Economic Development was created by Governor Brown to serve as California's single point of contact for economic development and job creation efforts. GoBiz offers a range of services to business owners, including attraction, retention and expansion services, site selection, permit assistance, regulatory guidance, small business assistance, international trade development, and assistance with state governments, and, and much more. Um, GOBIS has a dedicated staff to support uh, businesses who are exports in the areas of business investment services, uh, tax credit programs, innovation and entrepreneurship, international affairs, permit assistance, um, and zero emission vehicles. To learn more about our office, I invite you to visit our website um, that you see on your screen, business.ca.gov, as well as our business assistance portal, which is uh, businessportal.ca.gov. Um, so as Megan mentioned, uh, today's webinar is brought to you in part by our International Affairs and Business Development Unit at GoBiz. Um, with over 95% of the world's population and 80% of the world's purchasing power outside of the U.S., international trade investment has become a critical component for California's economic growth, an engine for cre creating jobs. In 2016, California goods exported accounted for $136 billion. Further, international trade supported more than 706,000 California jobs and four known companies employed over 630,000 workers in California. So to capitalize on this immense global opportunity, the International Affairs and Business Development Unit is the state's primary point of contact for expanding California's international trade and investment relations. The unit works to drive business for California and to address barriers to the state's continued global economic strength. The unit provides critical support on issues relating to international trade and investment opportunities, foreign relations, international agreements, and partnerships with the countries that have friendly relationships with California. So the next set of slides I'll be discussing with you um, the various state and federal resource partners whom our office works with to address the needs of our California exporter community. So the first are the California Centers for International Trade Development, also known as the CITDs. The CITDs are funded by the Chancellor's Office of the State of California and work to assist exporters and importers. 
They assist businesses to expand internationally as well as help colleges become more globalized. The CITDs have offices across the state and provide a range of trade assistance services to companies and individuals within the state. All services are either free or low cost. So whether you're a new or experienced uh, exporter or importer, whether you're small or large, the CITD has exports, I'm sorry, the CITD has ex experts and resources ready to help you. The programs and services include one-on-one -on -one technical assistance and consulting, market research, training and education, educational programs. Uh, they generate trade leads and organize special events. CITD is a place to learn about international matchmaking events and other programs taking place both in California and abroad. Next, we have the U.S. Commercial Service of the U.S. Department of Commerce and their U.S. Export Assistance Centers. The U.S. Commercial Service is the lead trade promotion agency of the government. The federal government offers free in-person counseling services to help small businesses locate business opportunities overseas, understanding shipping logistics and international payment options, and obtaining financing for their export sales. The U.S. Commercial Service has trade professionals in over 100 U.S. cities and more than 75 foreign countries. They all help U.S. companies get started in exporting or increase sales to new markets. From trade counseling to business matchmaking to market intelligence, the, the commercial service is an excellent resource for California companies looking to expand and or grow in foreign markets. Um, so for more information about their list of services, um, you can visit their website at www.export.gov. And to locate uh, the office nearest you here in California, um, you can use their tool on their website. I believe they have a total of 15 offices um, that span all of California, so um, please find the one nearest you. The next, we have the U.S. Small Business Administration's Office of International Trade. SBA's Office of International Trade is committed to helping small businesses succeed in the international market by providing financing to small business exporters. Many small businesses think they're too small to compete in the world market. But in fact, 97% of all exporters are small businesses. The federal government has loans, insurance, and grant programs to help you become an exporter or expand your exporting businesses. So SBA has several export loan programs. The first is the SBA Export Express program, which offers financing up to $500,000 it's the simplest export loan product offered by SBA and allows participating lenders to use their own forms and procedures. So the SBA determines eligibility on this loan and provides an approval within 36 hours of, your, of the application. The next program SBA offers is the Export Working Capital Loan, which provides advances for up to $5 million to fund export transactions. Uh, from purchase order to collection. This loan has a low guarantee fee and a quick processing time. Um, next is their International Trade Loan Program. I'm going to refer to it as ITL. It provides small businesses with en enhanced export financing options for their export transactions. The ITL program is designed to help small businesses enter and expand into international markets and when adversely affected by import competition, make the investments necessary to better compete. Um, the ITL offers a combination of fixed asset, working capital financing, and debt refinancing with SBA's maximum guarantee, which is 90% on the total loan amount. And there are other federal export financing programs. Um, federal government has grant and contract opportunities, insurance programs for exporters. So to find the one that best suits your export needs, you can visit uh, business.usa.gov. Um, and on there, you'll find additional resources from across other government agencies um, to help you with uh, your export financing uh, questions. They also have a phone number that you can dial. Um, it's 1-800-USA-TRADE. 
staffed by international trade specialists, and they provide information about government export programs that can also be of assistance to you. So the next uh, partner that we have is the Export Import Bank of the United States, also known as Exim Bank. Exim Bank is the official export credit agency of the United States. Exim is an independent, self-sustaining executive branch agency with the mission of supporting American jobs by facilitating the export of U.S. goods and services. When private sector lenders are not able or unwilling to provide financing, Exim fills in the gap for American businesses by equipping them with financing tools necessary to compete for global sales. Because it's backed by the full faith and credit of the United States, Exim assumes credit and country risks that provide sector that the private sector is unable or willing to accept. Um, the bank's charter requires that all transactions it authorizes demonstrate a reasonable assurance of repayment. The bank consistently maintains a low default rate and closely monitors credit and other risks in its portfolio. For more information about their programs, you can visit them at exem.gov. The next resource uh, that we have, I would say, is favored by service providers, um, also manufacturers, uh, but those who wish to establish a business in foreign markets, and particularly emerging markets. Um, the Overseas Private Investment Corporation, also known as OPIC, is a self-sustaining U.S. government agency that helps businesses, American businesses invest in emerging markets. OPIC provides businesses with the tools to manage the risks associated with foreign direct investment, fosters economic development in emerging markets, and advances U.S. foreign policy and national security priorities. OPIC helps American businesses gain footholds in new markets, contributes to job and growth opportunities both home, at home and abroad. OPIC fulfills its mission by providing businesses with financing, political risk insurance, advocacy, and partnering with private equity investment fund managers. OPIC provides financial products such as loans and guarantees, political risk insurance, and support for investment funds, all of which help American businesses expand in emerging markets. Um, the following three slides are specifically about the Export Expansion Resource Programs administered jointly by most of the state and federal resource partners we've just gone over. The first is the State Trade Expansion Program, also known as STEP. Uh, so the purpose of the program is designed to drive exports for small businesses. The goals are simple. If you're exporting, we'd like to help your business export more. Um, if you're not exporting, then we'd like to help you get started. The STEP program leverages the STEP program leverages a network of partners to implement a range of export promotion programs. At the state level, STEP is managed by the California Community College's Chancellor's Office. Centers for International Trade Development, and GOBIS. And at the national level, STEP is managed by the U.S. Small Business Administration of Office of International Trade. So you may be asking, how, how can STEP help, how will STEP help small businesses? Um, STEP will help small businesses by providing export assistance, business matchmaking services, international marketing assistance, uh, participation in training programs, support for small business participation in foreign trade missions and foreign market sales trips. Um, if, if small businesses are looking to subscribe to the services of the Department of Commerce and um, for businesses looking to participate in trade show exhibitions. The program typically conducts between 15 and 20 export promotion activities um, that take place in market. Some examples of the activities include participation in trade shows like Cosmoprof Hong Kong, um, Abu Dhabi Auto Show, China Medical Equipment Fair, 
and uh, Center Stage Hong Kong, which is uh, geared towards fashion. So um, as I mentioned, the STEP program creates a variety of activities um, that services various industry sectors and markets. Um, if for any reason any of the activities um, don't cover your industry sector or needs, there is an opportunity to customize an export promotion activity. So if you have a trade show that you'd like to go to um, that we are not organizing participation at, you can apply for a reimbursement stipend. Uh, this year it's $3,000 um, and we can support your export promotion activities um, at that show. So we can help you recover any marketing costs such as um, trade show registration fees, um, marketing material translation fees, etc. cetera. Um, what it does not cover are hotel lodging and meals. So for more information about the STEP program and to, to see what the qualifications are, um, please visit citd.org forward slash CA STEP or forward slash step, um, and we can get your questions answered there. Um, let's see, the next resource that we have is the Western U.S. Agricultural Trade Association, um, also known as WUSADA. So WUSADA increases U.S. US exporters um, by connecting agribusinesses to the world. WUSADA is an independent nonprofit that utilizes working relationships with the state's Department of Food and Ag, Ag departments, that one's a little tricky, um, and USDA to provide a broad bandwidth of resources. So WUSADA delivers programs and services that specifically allow Western U.S. agribusinesses to learn, connect, and compete in the export market. Their programs bring results to companies at every stage of the exporting cycle. So they have three main programs that I'll go over just very briefly. Um, so the export education program can bring you up to speed on the benefits and opportunities of exporting your, uh, your agri-goods. Agri um, you can gain access to global market research and receive uh, consumer insights. Um, and they, so they hold a series of webinars and seminars throughout the year to keep you up to date on uh, upcoming trends and opportunities. The next is the Global Connect program, which offers you options and opportunities to explore various export markets. So you can participate and connect with uh, actual potential buyers to expand your global market distribution. Um, so through this program, they offer technical and logistical support. Um, they can help you to arrange, arrange interpreters, facilitate introductions to qualified buyers, and even provide discounted uh, buy and mission participation. And the last of their programs is the Fund Match program, which helps qualifying companies compete in international markets by providing 50% cost reimbursement for eligible marketing and promotional activities. And then um, last but not least, we have Export Tech. So Export Tech is a national export assistance program helping companies enter and expand into global markets, jointly offered by the NIST Manufacturing Extension Partnership and the U.S. Commercial Service, Export Tech applies a structured export strategy development process that assists 48 companies at a time to accelerate growth. It's the only national program where each company develops a written export plan that is vetted by a panel of experts upon completion. Export Tech efficiently connects companies with a wide range of world-class experts to help navigate the export sales process. The result is that companies rapidly expand global sales and save countless hours of effort. Uh, so for more information on Export Tech, please visit their website, which is up on your screen. Um, there, next slide, please. Okay, so it looks like I accidentally left off a slide, but there are additional resources that um, may be available in your area. Um, so you can reach out to your local chambers of commerce. Um, some, some more than others uh, provide a variety of tra training programs, either um, on their own or through partners that we've talked about and discussed today. 
Um, there's one resource that I would like to guide you to, um, and that's the California Chambers of Commerce. Um, they have a Council for International Trade, and they have a, a calendar of international events that takes place. Uh, and the events take place statewide, and, and it's either training or matchmaking or networking. Um, you can connect with the international trade community um, in your region. And then the other programs um, left off my last slide, I apologize, uh, are through the ports. Um, so reach out or visit your port, your nearest port website. I know the Port of Los Angeles has an excellent um, training program uh, that that promotes exports um, to foreign markets. So take a look at those websites as well for more information about what they have to offer. Um, so at this point, I think we can open it up to questions. Um, what you have on the screen is how to get a hold of us. Um, so as Megan mentioned, I'm Diana Dominguez. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, you can reach us through our business portal. They have a question submission. We have a question, question submission tool on there that is uh, pretty straightforward. Otherwise, you can dial us directly at the number on your screen. Just let us know what your questions are and how we can help. And um, we can work with our partners to figure out an answer for you if we don't have an immediate answer. So we're going to go ahead and begin the question answer now. So if you have any questions for Diana, go ahead and put them in the questions section on your toolbar, and we will start answering them. Um, so the first one is, are there restrictions on industry sectors for any of the resources that you mentioned? That is an excellent question. So the only industry restriction would be for WUSADA. They specifically only help agribusinesses, but the rest of the resource partners support all industry sectors uh, for all markets. Um, what would be a first step that you could suggest for businesses that are interested in these programs? Like, Where, where would you suggest a business to begin? So if you are... Um, Exploring the idea of beginning uh, exporting, I would say start with the Centers for International Trade Development. Um, they, they do an excellent job of walking you through um, the process of who you should be reaching and when. They can help you develop a basic export plan. And most of them are co-located with the U.S. Department of Commerce, U.S. Export Assistance Centers, so they can help to facilitate those relationships. Otherwise, if, you know, if all of this is a lot of information, at the end of the day you walk away with my contact information, feel free to reach out to me, and I can always facilitate the first um, introduction of who you should be speaking to. We'll give it a minute to see if any other questions come through. Okay, well, I don't see any more questions coming through, so at this point, this concludes our webinar. Um, thank you, Diana, as well as each of the participants for joining us today. Um, the slides and the audio of this presentation will be posted to the GoBiz website, and all registrants will be notified by email once they are posted. So thank you again for joining us today, and this concludes the webinar.